All right, what's up? I'm back from Japan. If you didn't know, but I got real sick, so this is coming out a little late. I was gonna do a travel video, but I got tons of footage that I haven't even gone through yet, so that's gonna have to wait. But I can do this. I can show you all the things I bought and may sprinkle a little footage in. I don't know what I'm gonna do yet. But um, yeah, let's get to it. So I got to, here's my pen from the plane jackpot free pen so the first night I flew in got to my hotel then I think I walked around near the hotel a little bit but the big thing was the was the sky tree and here we go oh free slippers from the hotel bam I got these at some point I don't know where I got them may I got them in the sky tree I can't seem to remember there's a lot of random like points too where you walk through a train station and you trying to leave and you accidentally come into like a shopping mall so we got a potato crisps I don't know they gave me a free sample and I was like these are good I'll get them maybe you can give them away as a souvenir or something I might keep them uh oh the big thing though at the sky tree was there was a Pokemon store and I went in there to get a bunch of souvenirs for the kids but I got some stuff for me um just because, you know, I liked it as a kid. Uh, let's see what I got. Um, I don't know what these are. Uh, Pokemon cards or something. I haven't opened up Pokemon cards in like 20 years, but let's open up one of these and see what's, see what's inside of this. Oh, no, wait, it's, uh, can't, oh, no, there's a, there's a card in here. One. And then... Candy? Little... Big fruit snacks? Huh? Well, there's that. Uh, mostly I did get... I wanted a keychain. Well, I wanted something from the Tokyo... The Sky Tree. Um, I forgot to go back downstairs at the end. I think I hit the tr I was tired and I was like, I hit the train and I was like, whoops. Because there was a big store at the bottom that had like a lot of cool like Sky Tree stuff. It had like, uh, like mini scale replicas that lit up and a lot of Snoopy stuff. They seem to like Snoopy in Japan for whatever reason. Charlie Brown, not so much, but Snoopy, I seem to like him for whatever reason. But I did manage to get me a keychain. It's like a blind. Focus on the, the Pikachu. Anyway, and there's like eight you can different ones you can get in different colors or I don't know. But let's I can finally open this I guess. They really like their tape in Japan, like everything's taped up. They give you a bag and then they put that bag and then they tape it shut. For whatever reason, like, to make sure no one steals from you. But then people aren't really, like, people aren't protective of their stuff. They're just, like, like, this girl had her phone just, like, her purse was, like, wide open next to me. And her phone was laying out. And I was, like, these people really ain't scared of stuff getting stolen around here. Someone told me that people to, like, save a seat, they go to, like, a food court. And they just drop all their stuff on the seat. And that's, like, to claim the spot. And then they walk away and get their food. I'm like, this is America, you come back and your stuff is gone. Your phone, your per all your money, the camera that's in that bag, like everything would be gone. But not in Japan, they're just like, nope, I trust people. Like I went to, a, I've seen places where there was like, they didn't even have a guy selling the stuff, which is like a box with a cutout and it's like, put the money here and take whatever. And I was like, I saw one for like food. I was like, in America, people be like, Especially kids would just be like, hey, free drink, sucker. I can't get this stupid thing open. Oh no, wait. Like, it's just a keychain. Like, why you got a triple? Look at, look at this big thing of a tape. God damn. All right. And then, it's not like I want to ruin the box. Right. Now I got this big ass. Get off. All right, let's see what, see what I got. Oh, it's a pin? It's a brown with a fire tail 
It's a pin. I wanted a... I was a keychain. I can't put this on my keys. Oh, it's a pin. Good. That's what I always wanted. Pin. I think pins are in now, right? I don't know. What is that? That was a... That was a... What else did I get? Oh, this. A little Pikachu in a band. A little Pikachu in a band. And I guess there's cookies or something in here. I guess we're gonna find out. Because it feels like there's something... Something kind of heavy in there. Not heavy, but it's got weight to it. There's no... It doesn't feel like there's... Like any... Like there's a... God damn all this tape. So you open it. See, it's got like... So this is the band, him and his other Pokemon. I can't name any of them. But there's a Pikachu. And... Here's all like the, oh these are cool, it's like a speaker Pokemon, I didn't know that was a thing. And uh, here's like his screaming, adoring fans, like oh, we want you. Oh, they're little like individual cookies. There's actually like a lot in here, one, two, three, four, five, five. Oh, and there's like two each. Either there's two each in here, or they're like... Mm, we'll find out. Or they're like Oreo. There's like cream in the middle. I don't know if you can hear my voice, but... I'm not completely over my sick. Looks like a... So you got whatever was on the... The front of the... Whatever was in the front of the box, you got on the cookie. The like band... So it's like a wafer cookie, and there's like a thin layer of something. It's white, so I guess vanilla. Not bad, actually. Figured it'd be just like cheap, you know, garbage. It's like we're just selling you merchandise. That's all Japan is, is selling you merchandise. But... Not not bad. Maybe go with some cookie, some coffee, and some coffee or some tea or something. All right. So that was day one. Day two, I took the bullet train, and we headed to Kyoto. So I don't have much from Kyoto. That was something heavy falling over. Not cool. I got two things. You know, you go to the temples and they're like trying to sell tort. See, first off, when you go into the temples, I went to went to Kiyomizadera. I went there first. That's like the water temple. One of them's Buddhist, one of them's Shinto. I made sure to go to both. Um I went there and then I went to Fushimi Yanadi, which is the big one with the big gates or whatever, the big red wooden. There's like a thousand of them. But before you even get there, there's like like a mile, two miles of street. And it's it's just all shops trying to sell dumb tourists. Like, huh, you dumb Americans, you'll buy anything that says Japan on it. So I avoided that for the, most of those for the most part, luckily. Because I'm smart. You can't get me with your stupid, you know, just a Hanes tea with a goddamn red dot. It's like, yeah, you know it's Japan. It says, it says Japan on it. First of all, Japanese people don't even call Japan Japan. Why do, why do we call Japan when Japan, Japanese people call Japan uh, Nippon or something? But we call it Japan. Why do we change the name? Like, why don't we just all call it what they call it? Like, like what if your name was Greg or Franklin? And I was like, no, I'm going to call you Steve. But he's like, no, but my parents named me Franklin. I'm legally Franklin. But I just kept calling you Steve. I'm like, mm, you don't look like a Franklin. You look like a Steve. So I kept calling you Steve. See, that's that confuses me. I did buy these while I was there, though. And they give you extra bags. They're like, oh, they, they think, like, you're going to give everything away. Souvenirs, maybe. I don't know. I don't know why they give you extra bags. And then they ask you, but it's like a Japanese. Like, I don't speak Japanese. So I'm like, hi, hi. Because that's like one of the few words I know is yes. I don't even remember no. I think it's like EA or I don't, I don't know. Don't ask me. I knew like I learned like 
like 10 words just to get me not killed and then I forgot most of them. Although weirdly when I got back to America I was still in like Japan mode so I was like telling these people on the planes Japanese and like what's wrong with you? I speak English and I'm like oh right right right. But yeah these things they're like little mochi triangles with like filling like the display had like the top half was regular and then the bottom half was green tea and then I think they're red bean. I think these are red bean but they only sell them in Kyoto so if you go there you gotta get them. They call them, it's on the bag, Yatsuhashi. So you have to get those. They also apparently have Kit Kats according to Google but I didn't find any because if I did I would have bought them for sure. But I don't have them so I don't know where to get them. But I got these on the way to, this would be Kiyomizudera. But then you get to the temples. So I got to Fushiminari at night. And that was pretty cool. But in the day I did Kiyomizudera. And I didn't get much. They do sell, so. They're trying to renovate the temple, by the way. So it's like really. So give, them your, give the temple your money. At least when you get there. Because I guess they're trying to fix, I don't know what happened. Maybe they had a fire or something it looks like they're this might be racist I don't know it's a little blackface looking I mean I know it's like oh cultural thing so blah, 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 blah. so maybe not but he got a big face I mean the lips aren't that big but he's pretty dark it's pretty dark looking dark looking dude I don't know what to make of him but it's supposed to be like the god of business success or something and I want that, so I bought that. See if it works. I don't know. Maybe Christian God is like, no, no Buddha. Get that out of here. And may I have worse luck. Who knows? So I got that. And then they also have like a section where it's like apparently it's all about love. So it's like, hey, they have two rocks. And it's like if you can touch one rock with your eyes closed and then walk over the other rock uh, and touch it then you'll have like super like you'll meet your wife tomorrow or blah, blah 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 I don't know the full story but and it's not easy like I was like I'm gonna try this as like a like just as a challenge but with so many Japanese people around you, it's like bumping into like there's so many people it's not easy but they do oh this is actually nice I don't think I actually looked at it and there's a little charm I think it says you see their love or you're gonna be forever alone, one of them. So I guess we'll find out, but I don't know. And they're like they're not that expensive, so it's like hey, it's a souvenir, and it's not like some like the most touristy thing. Although I'm sure a lot of tourists, but like, oh, hoo -hoo. get me a wife. I, I I don't believe in this stuff, but it does look cool, and it's like it's it's it's, it's a Japanese thing, so it's like why not. And it didn't let you guys go to the temple, and I think they need it right now, so it's not a bad thing. Now, I didn't buy anything at Fushimi because I think it was late. I did buy street food. I got some, like, um, some takoyaki. Like, that was the best part. They had a street food, like, section. Had a lot of it. A lot of good stuff. Um, a lot of yakitori and all kinds of, like, cooked foods. It was pretty dope. Uh, oh, and I got some amezaki, which is, like, sake but it's like before it becomes alcohol so it's sweet rice drink I don't know they heat it up it was pretty good because I went there to charge my phone because travel tip first of all um, so it's real hard to find charges there a place to charge your phone because I went I went to a place this is like later on when I discover this and I was like I bought a drink so I could go into the restaurant and they had and then you go in there and all their outlets are covered by Science, because I guess that's what people would do is go in there just to charge their phone and they're like no charge your phone and I was like I, I'm gonna get you because you maybe buy stupid milk tea just so you could just so I could go in here and you don't even let me charge like I paid money I should at least be able to use your charger but all the all the toilets in Japan are robots so what you do is you go in the bathroom and you unplug it and you plug your phone in and you wait till you get a good enough charge. Especially with iPhones, they got the fast charge. So you don't want to be in there that long. So that's a travel hack. hack. If you need to charge your phone, go to the bathroom. Now, and then I came back to uh, Tokyo. 
I don't even remember what I did. See, uh, this is it was all it's going to Japan's crazy. It's all a blur. There's so much stuff to do. It's all phew, I need to go through all the footage I took just so I can start to remember like piece together my my trip. One night at some point I went to Don Quixote, which is like it's, it's like right near my hotel, which is really dope because it's like uh I got all this like weird stuff. It's like a grocery store. It's like a Wal think of a Walmart, but instead of like spread out, it's like six stories and like they have a floor like because they have like the bottom floor is like food and snacks. They had a grocery section. Like if you lived in that area, like that's where you'd probably get your groceries. Like second floor was like stuff. They had a souvenir area because they knew people. Like this thing was big. They had like sporting goods on the top floor, toys all one floor. Like it's just. So much stuff. I did go to the alcohol section. The first bit of alcohol I got, uh, matcha Kahlua. Do not know what this is gonna taste like. Thinking more like a milk tea almost, cause Kahlua is kind of milky. I mean, that's what it looks like in the back. Like they put like, they got the plain one in the cup, and then they got like a little. You no, know, it looks like they put ice cream in here. I don't know. This is interesting, but it's caught. It's matcha coffee liqueur so I'm gonna try this this is gonna be interesting and then I bought a bunch of little stupid things I bought this I don't know what it is if it's a peach or a because there's a orange one that was a peach and then there's this is the green version I have no clue I might just give it to someone and say hey let's experiment <laughs> and then get it seem to get super blazed because it's like a thousand percent Alcohol and that little thing. Oh, yeah, my soap I stole from the hotel. I got a lot of cool stuff from the, the Japanese hotels don't play around when it comes to When it comes to amenities So so day four I think it was cause I think day five I did Harajuku but one anyway one day I did Shibuya Which is where my hotel was So first off I got the Atmos bag with the A, the Atmos, and uh, so as you can guess, I got the shoes. I got some, and you see the Nike Air logo, the Air Force One box. Wait, let me do it this way. Peel the paper, and blam. Got them Shibuya Air Force ones. I wanted the Halloween ones, but they didn't seem to have them. So they had a black and a white pair, and they weren't that bad, especially when you get the tax free. Like, remember, bring your passport everywhere. You get tax free, get all kinds of discounts. But I thought the black looked nice, and surprisingly, these are the most expensive ones on StockX. Like, the Halloween ones are cheapest, and yet they're the hardest. They were the hardest to find. So I don't know what the deal is with with that but that's fine with me I can always get them later on but I was like I needed some kind of souvenir from my trip Shibuya that's where I was staying got the Air Force ones the black look night the white looked good too but I was like I don't want to be carrying out too many shoes the fact is I had and I'd buy extra suitcases and I still couldn't put the shoes in so I had to carry these as like a carry-on but they I don't know it was weird I had to like sneak them on like this is I got these in the airport I swear these are my duty-free so like the Bape in Shibuya is all right. It looks cool. They got a little floor with like Bapes to shoes and like stuff. Like as you walk over and it's like a clear thing. Ba I think the one in Shibuya had more like coats and stuff, but a lot of like the collabs and stuff were like at a different. Like the Harajuku one was probably similar to the Shibuya one, but then there's one like further down where the Calm the Calm de Garçon is. And they have like, there's that, and there's like a Supreme back there. I think they call that area Aoyama, Aoyama, something like that. But it's like, so there's Harajuku area, and there's like the shopping, big shopping, like Gucci, you know, like the, whatever they call it, with all the trees, and there's lights. Except they were real racist, because they didn't have the lights on any of the time. The, the two times I was in the area, they didn't put the lights on for me. Although one, I think, was daylight, so that's fine, but still. And then they had the bridge closed that night, which is extra bothered me because they have a bridge that goes with the freeway. And I got some daylight footage. It looks real cool. But 
whatever reason that night they had the thing closed off because they were fixing something or who knows and then they had like they had lights around the trees but they didn't turn them on for whatever reason and I'm like you could have turned them on just from like why do you even have them when you're attached you have them attached to the trees and they're not even on so that's garbage so anyway back to Shibuya I got this for my friend no oh, yeah this is the one I got for my friend this is just the uh, black and camo camo bait pad. I went to the other bait after I went to Kith and got me uh, like a milkshake. That thing was dope. The treats. Well, I don't know why they got ki more Kith treats. They didn't have a Kith store there. I think they had some shirts for it, but hey, I don't know why they didn't have a, a Kith store. Yeah, okay, here's mine. So the one in the Aoyama, which is like right after the Amodasana. So you got Harajuku. Then you got a Motosando, which is a big street, and it's got the trees, and it's like all the Gucci's, Prada's, Bapes. So there's like a big mall there. Expensive, like, and then at the tail end, when it ends, it kind of, I think it turns a little bit, but it's still on the same street, and it's sort of like, there's still some expensive shops there. Uh, no, I didn't go to Bape first, actually. I went to, that a Cav Amp, which I don't own anything yet. I didn't own anything yet, so I was like, I have to check them out. I'm trying to do only Japanese brands because they had a lot of cool like also Supreme is really garbage stores look cool stores look pretty cool um, but like the selection there is like it's it's disgusting like it's stuff you can get online all the cool stuff only comes on the drops and then once it's out like whatever they got in the store is like just not, isn't stuff that nobody wanted but anyway these are bags are real cool they're like like drawstring bags and they put your clothes in there but um this was just basic I didn't more tape okay so then you just got you just got this all over like uh cab amp logo cause that stuff it's, this, a lot of these places are real expensive like the cheapest stuff was the shirts and I was like I can't justify getting a $200 coat when I can get a, like a $70, $60 shirt. But, you know, stupid me is like, well, if I got one less shirt, I could afford a jacket or a nice, like a, a button shirt or something. But anyway, so, Cav Amp, it's just that, you know, Cav Amp. I don't feel like opening all of them, but you get the idea, and it oh, repeats all the way to the bottom. It was nice. It's a black shirt. Black shirts are good for this time of year. Cause it's not, it's cold, it's cool enough, and I won't sweat, and Houston won't murder me if I wear black. Although, rarely in Houston, you don't get, like, a fall. It went from, like, 90s every day to, like, 55 every day, and, like, like what are you doing? Like, it's still November. And the sizes are real weird. I got a large in this. I don't know if... Oh, dang. I didn't even realize this tape was so strong it tore the bag. But anyway. I got some cab amps. That whole... That one block was pretty cool. Because it's like... It goes from that. There's uh No, the Supreme Star wasn't there, actually. The Supreme Star was in Harajuku. But... Which that was pretty cool, actually. I guess is is um, where the spring so But the uh, so I did Cavan, and that's in like a weird office building. I couldn't even find it at first. I was like, "Are you sure it's the right place?" You get off the elevator, and it's like nothing. But then you go, you like turn the corner, and it's like there's a store there. All of a sudden, there's two stores. There's that, and there's like a really cool towel store next to it. And the towels are like fifty dollars each. I don't know what's so good about these towels. I was like, it was just white. Like they had more expensive ones that were colored, but the white. It was just like the one white towel. Like they had face towels for like twenty bucks. And I was thinking about. It, I was like, these got to be amazing. Like maybe I should get one. But I was like, I couldn't justify it. Maybe when I go back, I'll learn about these mystical towels, these amazing towels or whatever. And then I'll go back and I'll get me, I'll get me one. But then like at the bottom floor, they had stores and it's, it's, this Japan is odd. But it's cool. It's so many lights, and it's just, and your brain gets fried, and you're just like, ah. So I did the bait. Oh, 
It's right here. Bam. See, Bape Head. Got the Ape Head. Got the Blammo. It's the same thing as most Bape shirts. It's just... I like the... See, I like this. The little... It's got... Keeps your shirt icy fresh in the Ziploc. But you take it out. Blue camo. I needed a shirt. See, I needed a shirt. And I don't think I own... No, I don't have any Bape shirts. I needed a shirt to go with these shoes I bought. Not in Japan. I bought these like two months ago. And I was like, I'm waiting for a shirt to go with them. These React uh, two, Air Max uh, 270 Reacts. But I thought like the combo... I don't know what else I'm gonna do. Some black pants, some black jeans. That might be fresh. I don't know. I'm gonna be dope. We'll we'll figure it out. Oh, and then I rushed because Comme des Garçons was closing. I forgot they were extra extra expensive. Like Comme is nasty. They were almost uh, off white bad. I did go to the off white store. I did pop in. So, you know, I was curious. I'd never been to an off white store. The one in Japan, the one especially, because it looks like this like weird office building. Like, it looks pretty cool. Like, I got. But the prices are, ooh. Like, why are they so expensive? Like, off white isn't the best. It's, it's alright. And they got cool stuff. Like, the shoes when they aren't being resold, come out, and they're not, like, they're not even exp as expensive. Like, resale, okay, they get, they get way up there, but, you know, if you get them at retail somehow, luckily, they never end up anywhere near, the, like, there's, like, $200 t-shirts, just shirts, like, like, calm down. I don't know any calm niggas, so, and that's a real nice stuff in there that I can't afford, but, and I wanted a black heart. And there's another area that has just the play stuff. The the cheaper stuff. But I didn't get there either time when they were I didn't get there when they were open. There's too much stuff to do in Japan. Like you can't fit it on a week. Black shirt with two sideways red heart. And like no you know. That's just the nothing special. That's just how they do their thing. That's their gimmick. When you're not getting the nicer four hundred dollar coats and button shirts and they got some real nice stuff, but I'm gonna have to go there when I'm rich. Cause this was hurting my wallet as it was. And all I got was shirts. I thought I was being like, you know, I thought I was getting away with something. Get, just getting shirts. Day five, I guess, was. That's why I did Takashita. And I walked up that, got me a crepe. Did all, I did all those things. Um, What's in this bag? Let's open this. I think I stopped here first. So you get to the end of Takashita Street. And then you're free to walk like the I guess the rest of Harajuku. Um, I mean I like the service and I like these all these bags are cool. I don't like all this tape that I'm having to take off just to open everything. Like is that their way of preventing theft? Like oh well we put tape on it so it's a lot harder for someone to steal and I guess it is but I thought it's like I thought people didn't steal stuff in Japan and now you. Put on this extra tip. I guess they won't steal from you unless you have like a Jordan load. That's something that happened here. You walk away from something like you put your Jordans down, you put your J's down, something with a Jordan logo on it down, and that sh that stuff gone. Like, like I knew people who've had just like little things with Jordan logos just stolen. Can't I can't have you can't have nice things in America. Finally got this. Stupid tape off. It's not stupid. I like that the tape has. It's pretty cool. It's got the logo. But I had to get some neighborhood something. I like neighborhood. That's a good brand. That's a good brand. Oh yeah, I forgot I got a pair of socks. I should have gotten a shirt from there. I regret that because the shirt. I think undefeated might have had the best Japan exclusive shirts. But I just got a pair of socks because I was like, I ain't never been to an undefeated store. See in Houston, we don't got a lot of these, a lot of these stores. So it's like I had to get. Check them out while I was there. So I got one pair of black socks with the, just the undefeated logo. Something light. Because I was like, undefeated, really I can get undefeated stuff here in America. I didn't want to. But they did have a cool exclusive Japan shirt 
that had like kanji on it and stuff. And I was like, I saw someone looking at it as I was leaving. I was like, I might come back and get it. And I should have, but I didn't. And now I'm sad boy. But I did get it's just a white shirt. It says Tokyo. I want something that says Tokyo on it. So it says Tokyo, neighborhood Japan. Nothing special. When in Rome, eat Italian food, as they say. So I got my neighborhood. That's cool, because the neighborhood store is at the bottom. And then, you got Supreme right above it. And it puts, first of all, it puts in your sec. The store's not, that one's pretty cool. The one in, maybe the one she is a little nicer. I'm not sure. But the stores look cool. They're cool to visit, but it's like the selection of stuff that they have in there is horrendous. Like... It puts it in perspective because you go to the neighborhood store and they got a lot of cool stuff in there. In fact, I think I like neighborhood a lot better than Supreme. But you get the neighborhood bag. Hit that after Takashita. That was the day I got the ramen, too. And I stood in line for like two hours just to get into the restaurant. Y'all people need to chill, especially foreigners. There needs to be like a fast pass for these places, especially when you got like... I got tons of followers. I'm taking pictures. I got stuff to do. I can't be waiting in line forever. I'm not saying I'm more important than anybody, blah, blah, blah. But, like, dang. Like, y'all ruin everything. Because I guess somebody told them that it was, like, the best ramen in Japan. Who knows? Because there's a thousand ramen shops. And you never know. Like, how? Like, you'd have to try every single one of them. And then, and then it's all subjective anyway. So it's like, how do you know what's, how do you know what's the best? Like, you, you just can't. But this one I think had a Michelin star and I guess that was enough to like drive out the foodies and the you know insta insta famous one you know, whatever. A lot of Japanese people there too because I guess they they knew the secret. Now this one I didn't expect to buy. But I was like I, I was in because they're all like real close all the cool stores are like real close to each other. But this is billionaire boys club. I wanted ice cream because I think that, well, they're all like half Japanese because Nigo and it's Pharrell, so it's like half. Um, I like that, I don't, because I don't have any Billionaire Boys Club either. I like that they got the sticker too. Ice cream has a sticker of the fox, and then this has like a, see, like a big, like you, you can peel it. But, but this actually is like their exclusive Japan shirt. It says TYO, and then it's got the, the astronaut boy. And this is being a boys club. So this was kind of worth it because it's at least a souvenir. It's like nobody can get it unless they've been to Japan. So like this I can, this I can kind of be like, yeah, this is worth it. And this was the cheapest shirt I bought, weirdly enough. I don't know why Billionaire Boys Club was cheaper than. And then you get that discount with the, with the, your passport. Although a lot of places were like, yeah, you got to pay 50, you got to spend 50 bucks to get the discount. I think that's the last of my clothes. That was the end of that night, I think. Oh no, I am skipping a day. And I hung out with my boy Dustin. So we went around Akihabara, and that place is, that place is crazy. It's all like video games and animes and, that's a lot of lights and a lot of, they have like the biggest, the world's biggest, it's Yodabashi camera, so it's a camera store, but it's really like a, the world's biggest Best Buy or something. Like it's huge, like six stories. I think it's the world's biggest. It's at least the biggest in maybe Japan? It's the biggest in Akihabara, which is the electronic uh, center of Japan, or it was at one point. So we were hanging out, I was hanging out with Dustin, and we got ramen, and then we went. He was showing me around Aki, because that's like, he knows a lot about that area. And uh, we got, we got these gachapon, which are like little, like you put your coin, we have these in America, but they don't call them that. And I don't know if they do these, these are as common anymore as they used to be. Also, you get crap here. In Japan, they got like artis artisanal, like, like handicrafted, like, like fancy, like figurines and stuff. Here, I'm gonna open this one. Well, I just did, and I don't know if you noticed. And I'm gonna show you what I got. See, they got like, it's like a little, uh, it's a little dog bird. So the bottom is the bird, top is a dog. You can put it on your desk, you know, show it to your friends and be like, oh, 
Oh, I wish I had that. Oh, oh, you're so lucky. So I have that one. Oh, I wanted this one. I got a white one here that's like, looks like one of my dogs. Um, Rala. See, they're all pretty cool. Beagles. I don't know my breeds of dogs, but there's a, there's a quite a selection of dogs heads on bird bodies and so you can, you can get in on that if you go to well they had them all over Japan but Akihabara was like seemed to be the center because they had store they had the whole stores devoted to to the gachapon so I got one of those and I got three of these because I got three kitties and these are like hats that you put on the cats, or like masks, or something. I don't know, I got three different ones, and we're gonna... I might do a video where I torture my cats by putting these on them, and you'll see that. I'll open one now so you can know what I'm talking about. Um, let's do this one. The yellow. I think each color was like a different series. Some were like fruits, some were like animals. I don't quite remember the ones I got. Plus, you don't, I mean, you don't know which one you got, but I try to get a variety. Um, see, there I go again, more tape. Japanese people love their tape, and they hate napkins. I was never, like, that was the one thing I couldn't find, like, anywhere was, like, a napkin. I don't know what their deal was with napkins. Okay, this one is... Kitana Club. That's kind of hardcore for some cat hats. Oh, this one's the rabbit one. See, it's like all different colors of rabbits. Um, so there's that. So I guess mine's a brown one. Let's take it out. Oh, this is going to be funny. I don't know which cat's going to get this one, but a tune in to find out. So, so, I got these. I got the cat the cat hats. We did the gotcha pawn thing. They also have a lot of old, like, shops with old video games. We went to a couple of those because they're kind of cool. Seeing stuff from when I was a kid and Sega Genesis and, well, they call it something else over there. It's Super Nintendo and Nintendo 64. You know, I had to get something. I got an old Pokemon game. They had me these little bags. It was like four bucks. I was like, why not? See if I can figure out how to play this. That'd be pretty cool. So I got a Pokemon game. And I got this. This is the most American thing. Apparently this didn't come out in America for whatever reason. I guess because it looks too much like Hulk Hogan. But like... Wrestle War. Like it's, and it's like extra patriotic. It's got like the flag, the American flag. Everywhere. It's got like a Hulk Hogan lookalike dude with the Hanamar mustache. It's like, hell yeah, America. And the back looks like... Like, I don't think I had any Sega Genesis wrestling games. I did have some N64. I had, like, uh, you know, No Mercy and WCW. I had some of those. Those were pretty, pretty, pretty badass. But I gotta, I'm going to have to try this one. Figure out how to play this. There's got to be a way. Just shove this in my Sega Genesis till it works or something. We'll figure it out. Let me open this. I'm curious. See so again, more tape. Like this, I think the, I think it's just covered in tape. I don't think this is like there's no plastic. Oh, I guess there is some. I'm like, look. And the weird thing is like, so like I got them from like two different stores. I got this game, the Nintendo game, and then I got this one, and it was like. It's like this weird store. So you go down, you go down, everything's like six stories of just like weird stuff. And then you find the game store. And it was just like, I bring the game over to the counter to buy it. And the guy's like, oh, you have to go to the other counter. And then it was like the porn counter or something. Because I don't know what the dude, the dude in front of me had a book. And it had a lot of like cartoon, like anime girls with bikinis. And I don't know what was in the book. I don't, look, I don't care, you do what you want to do, you do your life, but the fact that I, like, that was that counter, and I had to go to the game counter, like, that's rude, and the guy wasn't even there, like, I get over there, and it's, like, empty, and he's, dude's, like, way in the back, sorting stuff or something, I don't know what, 
and I had to like ring the bell and I felt kind of, I guess that's just a thing. Like nobody's at the counter and you gotta, you gotta ring the bell and hope that somebody like hears it. But I got the guy. They had a lot of, a lot of cool stuff in there. Like I'm, I, like if I was a kid, like playing video games, like it'd be nuts. They, they didn't have a lot of like Sega stuff. Yeah, they're mostly Nintendo. Uh, they're mostly PlayStation over there. They really like their PlayStation stuff. But I didn't want to get anything that I could get in America, so I avoided most stuff. Plus, it, that stuff can get real expensive. Like this was twelve dollars, I think. Equivalencies, more or less. I'm just gonna rip this open. Like this is ridiculous. Like I don't even know. Like they tape it up, and then it's like in this thing, and it's like, where's the like? And they got this. I don't know what this is. Like, I could swear Japan hates the ocean because so much plastic. Like, those cookies were individually wrapped. Like, I'd have been fine if it was just one wrapper covering all of them. Oh, uh, there we go. Smells like an old Japanese house, maybe. I'd assume. It's pretty... You know, you don't get that musty smell that you would get at, like, a... If you're buying games here, like, from, like, a, you know, antique store or something. Like, it don't smell... It don't smell like the 90s, I can tell you that. Like this is, whoever had this took real good, real good care of it, I guess. And, I mean, we haven't opened the game. The game could come out and it could be dust. It could be just like years of just, or maybe the kid who owned it took real good care of the case, but like when he got mad, he like slammed on his, his Genesis Mega Drive and he was like, Oh, uh, uh, baka, uh, I don't know any Japanese cuss words, but the game might look like he, like, chewed on it and threw it against the wall and was like, damn you Hulk Hogan, or whatever they call, name the character. And this one, uh, Mr. America, Thunderlips, maybe that's, was that his name in Rocky? Thunderlips something or another? I don't remember. Okay, so the game's out. Finally. Took me like 20 minutes. And I came in. Okay, so that... Hmm, okay. It's pretty clean, actually. You wouldn't know that... It doesn't, have, doesn't have a smell to it. So that's interesting. That's the cover looks like. It just looks like the... Just looks like the box. Um, the case is not in terrible shape. I took horrible care of my stuff. See, at least the Genesis had these like little hard ones. I don't think I'd collect for like like Nintendo 64. All mine are just trash. Just horrible. I just smashed them up and threw them in my closet. And and if I'd known better, like. If you go on eBay, if you have the whole, everything, you have the game, the, the cart, the cover, the case, the box, everything, like, the, the things sell for, like, like, even, like, a cheap game, you can sell it for, like, a hundred bucks or something, like, collectors be into this, like, bro, like, they gonna spend all their money on this stuff. Or some Saudi prince is like, I played Super Nintendo when I was a kid, I want all the games. And then he'll just spend like a million dollars to get, like, I don't know, Mario Kart or something. Um, you know, just like moves lists, like how to pile drive, and this, this is gonna be, this is gonna be something to play. And then you can get the Sega Championship, Sega World Championship. I want that. I want that title. Hulk Hogan, I'm coming for you. And then the last day, there we go. Before I had to go to the airport, the one I went to, the sake. There was a store that had, um, it was, so in Japan, in Tokyo specifically, they have all these stores from, that sell stuff from other parts of Japan. So if you don't get a chance to go out to these places, you can, and it's good for those stores because it's like they can, um, they can sell their products and bring the money back to their, their village, their town, wherever the product's from. So this one's from Niigata, which is supposedly known for their sake. I mean, I don't know for sure, and I'm sure everywhere, everybody's got their opinions, but got 
like six of these. There's this one, which Echigo Surakame. This one's supposed to be so. These two are really good, as far as like under a hundred dollars a bottle sake goes. Anyway, this one's supposed to be like the better one, but it tastes like it's very supposed to be. I, again, I haven't tried these yet, so I'm just going on what I read online and what people told me and recommendations. But this one's supposed to taste like the Japanese countryside. And you can taste like the barrels they put it in, and blah 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 blah. And then. I got this yellow one. Um, this one I can't even read because there's no uh, English on it like at all. But this one's supposed to be pretty good, but it's easier to drink. So I figured some people would rather this one than that one. But I got a bunch of these and I'm going to give them to people. You know, easy souvenirs. Alcohol. Always bring, always, see if you, when in doubt, just always bring alcohol from wherever you go. Every place has got good alcohol, got weird alcohol, you know. And it's always a good story to tell. Like, hey, I got this alcohol, I was drinking it, and people get drunk, and you have a good time, and good stories, and good memories. And I also got this beer from Niigata, and it's Hakaisan Raidin beer, Weizen, I guess it's a Hefeweizen, from the Sarukurayama Brewery. I'm gonna look this up. Cause I gotten kind of into beer lately, and I was just like, I gotta get me one beer from Japan. I did get uh, the hot Hitachino, Hitachino. It's it's famous in America. Like I've seen it before, but I did go to the brewery and I got the white ale from the tap, and that was real good. But that was pretty much the only beer I had in Japan. So I brought one home. Uh, I also got this. This is. I, now, through all kinds of research, I still don't, I don't remember off the top of my head, but there's a tree, it's honey, but it's from a specific tree that they only have in like rare, like parts of Asia, like it's crazy, it's, it's some, it's gotta be some good honey, cause this is from some trees that like, can't even find anywhere, like they're only in Asia, and only in certain parts of Asia, like China, and like parts of Japan, and Thailand or something, I don't know. But good honey, good honey, and then oh, and some seaweed um, from the ocean. <sighs> Forget what I think from Fukuoka. If I remember looking these up, because the name there's an English name on here. Yeah, the Enoraka Nori Hompo Ariake. If you look it up, it's, it tells you where it goes to a website that talks about this and where it comes from. So they fixed it out of the ocean. This is like salt, black, like salt seaweed. I'm real curious about this. Seaweed's supposed to be good for your face. So if you got a nasty, ugly face, eat a bunch of seaweed, I'm telling you. But anyway, I guess that's everything. I guess look out for a travel video. I got a lot of video, a lot of pictures, and I'm gonna try to put them all together. I guess look forward to that. I don't know when that's going up. I've been real busy again with Japan. As soon as I got back, like the last day in Japan, I got sick. And then I was like out for a week. And then Thanksgiving and, and then Black Friday. I'm gonna clean up this mess, get this video up so you can watch it at some point. And then, yeah, subscribe if you want to. I'm gonna, again, travel video. Might be some other videos. I'm gonna do the video with these cats. I'm gonna figure out how to do it. Hopefully, We'll get a day when they don't fight and they don't have cuts because they like to like kill each other for some reason. And so like one of them's got a cut that I'm waiting to heal so it doesn't look ugly on camera. And once that's all done, I'm gonna I'm gonna put these I'm put these dumb hats on them. We're gonna watch them stumble around stupid because I know animals hate that stuff. So that's why I want to do it. Um, so we're gonna do that. So yeah, thanks for watching. Bye.